trending news. In a new interview, Gumi compare IPOB and bandits. In another interview, Gumi drew the attention of Nigerians when he compared the activities of bandits and that of members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. According to the Islamic cleric, one is killing our gallant men while the other is kidnapping children to make money and not to kill them. In his words, IPOB is attacking the police, the army, Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and all dark government institutions, killing our men in service, he said. And the headsmen are kidnapping children, not to kill them, but to get money. So, how can you compare somebody who is killing our gallant men directly to somebody who is kidnapping children to make money and not to kill them? Look, we need some fairness in what we are doing. Still speaking, Gumi said that Nigeria is fighting a tribal war and urged farmers across the country to allow headsmen to protect their forests. The cleric explained that the federal government is only meant to have interfered with the ongoing tribal war as a mediator and remain neutral. He noted that even though bandits are committing all sorts of crimes, atrocities have also been committed against them by various tribes across Nigeria. Gumi said that what you call banditry, when you, are, when you cross to the other side, you discover that Nigeria is fighting a tribal war and government is supposed to be the mediator. It is supposed to be natural or neutral and it's not supposed to be to, to take sides. But the moment government takes sides, it becomes part of the conflicts. And this is what I saw in Zamfara State, in Niger State and other states. This is tribal war going there's tribal war going on and the government are taking one side. When you said these bandits are committing atrocities, yes, agree. They are committing crimes. They are killing people they are kidnapping, they are raping, they are doing all sorts of atrocities. But have you, for once, go to their own sites to see all sorts of atrocities this, that they are also committed against them? Do you know that an ordinary ex-man is, is lynched in many towns in Nigeria? We have seen that in all your states. We have seen that in Anambra, and we have also seen that in many regions of Nigeria. I think there should be well-meaning Nigerians that should stay neutral in this tribal war. Gumi insisted on his call for amnesty for the bandits. According to Gumi, the bandits are ready to surrender if governments will provide means of livelihood for them. He said that the Niger as Niger, as Niger Delta example, I think we can take example from that. When they were vandalizing pipelines, they were given the pipelines to guide. Now, the earthmen are controlling a big chunk of land, whereby they are preventing farmers from farming, as the Niger Delta is important to the economy. These earthmen now, are becoming important to Nigerian economy as well. So they can be they can be our guide, our guide, sorry to say, and they can guide the forest as well. They have qualities that we can tap from. So the cleric also dismissed and the uh, also dismissed the amnesty granted to bandits by ban by Castina State Government Governor Belu. Masari describing it as political amnesty without any package. So when you grant a political amnesty, I mean amnesty in the front of the press and the media, but in the real sense, there was no amnesty. Amnesty comes with a package. The package is you rehabilitate this, this criminal and you provide for them their social am amenities. You entice them 
to leave the forest by providing them with skills. But there is no any project put forward. According to reports, it was reported also that this gumi of a man has also said things that made Femi Fanny Kayode say that he would definitely go to hell. Hellfire, he wishes upon Gumi, and because he is so angry with what Gumi said. According to Femi Fanny Kayode, the aviation minister, um, of former admission, admission minister, is Femi Fanny Kayode, he appears to be the Nigerian angriest with Gumi over his affinity with bandit bandits. Reacting to Gumi's interview with Punch on the adoption of puppies of Tejina Islamic School, Niger State, described the Islamic cleric as heartless and a wicked soul. The former minister insisted that every heartless bandit needs to be brought to justice. Taken in Instagram, Femfan Kaude wrote, he says, stop killing bandits. They are victims too, you can imagine. No school is safe until government negotiates with them. This is what Gumi said. Just listen to this atlas defender of children, of child, child adopters and cold-blooded killers. He is a dark and wicked soul, a callous Philistine and, and unrepentant um, barbarians. Every blood tasted ter terrorist and Jagawid bandit should be brought to justice, exterminated, and sent to hell. Those that speak for them, defend them, and attempt to rationalize or justify their barbaric actions like this unconceivable and evil creature deserve to worse. Femi Fanny told Gumi, he said, Hell, hell fire with you or for all you are doing. So on her part, the popular activist Aisha Yusuf, who reacted to Gumi's interview, said that security agencies have the mandate to go after bandits and kill them. So in a Twitter post, Yusuf explained that God had said, said that transgressors such as bandits should be dealt with. She wrote, she said, bandits should be killed. They have killed and inflicted terror on the land. God said that we should never be transgressors, but we should be run or turn our backs on those who transgress against us. So the security agents must go after bandits, terrorists, and any and any late and any late them. Sorry. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. You have heard it from Femi Fanny Kayode and what Gabash eh, um, Shehi Gumi said, and also Yusuf, um, Aisha Yusuf. You can imagine the statement coming out from Gumi. You can imagine comparing IPO to bandits. You can imagine. You can imagine. See what you can. What you call bandits when you cross to the other side. I discovered Nigerian is fighting a tribal war and government is supposed to be the mediator. He said that, according to him, he said, one is killing our gallant men while the other is kidnapping children to make money and not to kill them. He said that IPOB is attacking the police, the Hami Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and other government institutions. They are killing our men in, in service. And the eight men are kidnapping children not to kill, but to get money. So how can you compare somebody who is killing our gallant men directly to somebody who is kidnapping children and making money not to kill them? Can't You can imagine the statement made by this stupid gumi. Anyways, that is by the way. That is all I have to say for now. So your question concerning this news will, be, will also be needed. Please, I will urge you to drop your comment below the comment box. Thank you.